What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And let me just say, something recently happened last time you saw me with this hat on, at least. And in that video, I praise Kyle Larson, the High Limit series. Of course, it is co-promoted by Brad Sweet, but Kyle Larson has slowly become the face of this series. And then they pull this bullshit. This, what you see right here, is the High Limit Sprint Car Open, Open Sprint Cars at Lincoln. And that's happening this year on August 16th. Of course, August 10th through the 13th is the Knoxville Nationals, which is promoting Kyle Larson right there. Look at him with his little roar face. So amazing scheduling, right? Why would I be upset? Well, here's why. There's a man out there named Todd Quaring. And I got to meet Todd Quaring at the Houston's High Banks Nationals. Todd Quaring loves racing so much that at the Houston's High Bank Nationals, when the when the door swung out and hit his car that had a chance to win the David Gravel number two Houston Speedway machine, after the race, I thought he was going to be so upset. His track wrecked his car. He should be fuming. He did, he had a chance to win at his track with his car. Well, man, when I see him, he's celebrating and saying, oh my God, did you see the show that Sheldon put on? A genuine fan of the sport. Now, what was very interesting about this date that Kyle Larson put on is there's a race that Todd Quaring has been trying to make a very big deal. And last year, it occurred on the same weekend as the Houston High Bank Nationals. And it was a $50,000 to win event called the Jackson Nationals. Now, at this $50,000 to win event, very well paid throughout the field, very good drop down, very good start money. There were only 34 cars that showed up last year. And so this year, the great person that Todd Quaring is had a strategy. You know, I'd like to get PA. What does it take to get PA drivers and Ohio drivers and all these drivers from all over the country to come up to this $50,000 to win race at Jackson? How do I make this work? And the World of Outlaws were knowing of this. Here's a press release that they put out November 1st, 2021. New additions, Votto, all this stuff. New surprises. A new Jackson Nationals. Date Thursday through Saturday, August 18th through the 20th. One of the fastest growing marquee events on the schedule has found a new time slot for 2022. The Agco Jackson Nationals at the Jackson Motorplex will move from June to August, taking place the week after the Knoxville Nationals. Hey, Todd's great idea. Let's put on the Jackson Nationals the week after, and these guys, these PA guys, all these people who have traveled out, can stay a week after. We'll race Thursday, Friday, and Saturday up at Jackson for $50,000 to win, and we'll get all these drivers. And that sounded like a great plan until Kyle Larson blocked you. Because Kyle Larson's race is in Indiana, and it's on the way home. Am I going to go all the way back towards PA and Ohio and Indiana on a Tuesday and then bust my ass to drive the other direction and then drive all the way back to PA and Ohio? Am I really? I kind of can't believe what I have witnessed here. But your first race that you're going to schedule is going to block one of the best people in motorsports we got right now in the promoter owner industry. And you block a guy who's trying to make this race that he's put on for several years and invested so much money trying to make it a little bit better by enticing these PA traveling, Ohio traveling drivers that come to Knoxville to stay over a week and just go right up the road to Jackson and race for $50,000 in a good purse. You're going to block his ass and put on a race on Tuesday in Indiana. And you know what? I'm taking your hat off, Kyle. And I'm putting on another hat. This hat reads, support your local racetrack. These racetracks have to stay alive and operate and they have to make sense when shows are being put on the jackson nationals if you look at 34 cars showing up and that's it for fifty thousand dollars to win that don't make much sense now does it biggest block i've seen in motorsport scheduling history uh, at least the late mall guys have figured it all out i mean they got three major paying series out there along with tracks putting on big shows and they all 
at least have worked together enough to where the drivers can just travel around and race all these big different money events at all these different tracks. And you're over here at your first attempt ruining another guy's plan. Not a good start, Kyle. Not a good start. This is how we ride. This is how we do.